Hey guys, it's Ed from Lucky Hanger 13, and I wanted to share you a little bit of history of Lucky Hanger 13 and why it's so darn lucky. And I guess to do that, I'd go ahead and start at the beginning here, leaving Hancock Field. This was my hangar at Hancock Field, Hangar 825. We had been, uh, me and my compatriots, I had a Cessna 170 and a Grumman Lynx in this hangar, and we'd been down at the old T hangars, and they wanted to tear those hangars down, and so they uh, asked us if we could move over to here, and, uh, you know, sounded good to me, so. I'm not big into community hangars, but, you know, this one was heated, and it was nice. Had two restrooms, and uh, looked like a pretty nice hangar. So um, uh got my plane down here, and um, and I started kind of working on it, getting it ready. Did the annual inspection, and this is right after the annual inspection was, was uh, done by the shop. It wasn't quite signed off yet, but uh, 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 but basically the plane was put together, and, and uh, you know, I was still taking her out and, you know, and you know, um, running her up and getting ready to ferry her over to... Um, uh, over to Oswego County and, um, and, uh, and, uh, you know, I was getting ready to come out for my, um, uh, avionics upgrade and, and, and wrapping up the annual with this. And so here I was in this hangar and then one day I come out to the hangar and this had happened. <laughs> A big Cessna 414 had been in the hangar. So this thing, has, this thing actually, this was this plane's hangar originally and the plane was down in the shop and, uh, it had been in the shop for like months. Uh, so I imagine that bill was not pretty because <laughs> um, that shop is not cheap. Um, but at any rate, I come back out one day and here was this airplane right in front of mine. And, you know, I can't pull this plane out. I needed the line crew to do that. So kind of sort of a shock to me because, um, uh, you know, I now needed help to do anything in my hangar when I wanted to get the plane out. And I actually for the next few days stopped coming around because this plane had been sitting in front of my way. Uh, you know, and I and I hated to bug the line crew just so I could pull the plane out on the ramp and run it up and that sort of thing. Um, and then when I would swap it out, I'd pull my plane out and they'd push this plane back in. I'd put my plane in. I'd come out the next day and uh, on occasion we'd been swapped around. So me and this 414 were just kind of doing a dance where, you know, he'd sit in front and then I'd sit in front and back and forth. And uh, anyways, like the day after uh, this happened, the day after the 414, I saw the 414 in front of my plane. I got a call from Brandon, the airport manager at Oswego County, and he told me that there, there was a hangar available and that uh, I should come on by and we could talk about it. And and I was actually heading out there to speak to Luke about my avionics upgrade. So I'm like, I'll be there in 20 minutes. So um, that's where the story picks up. I um, I uh, went to meet Luke, and the rest is history. Hey, guys. It's Ed here, uh, Lucky Hangar 13 at the Oswego County Airport in beautiful Fulton, New York, on a beautiful first day of spring, kind of. It's uh, two days ago, it was snowing at my house, so things have kind of broke all of a sudden. I wanted to talk a little bit about the legend of Hangar 13, and we'll start off with the legend, but you'll notice some discoloration on the doors. Well, apparently, um, uh, before I was ever involved, there was a fella over here prop starting his, um, his uh, air coupe, and it started at full throttle and took off, and... And what, the first lucky thing about Hangar 13 was it was in the way of that airplane, so it stopped it from hitting something expensive. So hit Hangar 12 and hit Hangar 13, and, and um, there was a casualty. No, nobody was hurt or anything. Of course, the airplane was, was destroyed, uh, but apparently uh, the pilot was never uh, allowed to own an airplane again from his wife, so uh, there was a casualty there. And, um, but Hangar 13 kind of came through like a champ. Let's go in and take a look around. So here we are inside Hangar 13, and um, you know the way the story starts. And uh, I got a call from the airport manager, and he's like, "Hey, we got a hangar available for you," which was pretty amazing because I, you know, I had put myself back on the hangar list about six months earlier or so. So, uh, and they said that there were people in front of me. So I thought, well, you know, I'll probably never get a hangar out there. But I had a nice hangar at Hancock, you know. Other than there was a big airplane that moved in front of me, which, which we'll hear about here shortly. But, uh, but. Um, you know, so I came out to take a look at the hangar. I was actually coming out already, so I came out to take a look at the hangar, and then I, we come walking down here, and I saw it was Hangar 13, and I'm like, oh, my God, do I want Hangar 13? And I thought, you know what, what's in a number? It's a, I'll get out here, and then maybe if another hangar opens up, I'll move over. And uh, I come to find out a little bit later that uh, they had offered Hangar 13 to other folks in front of the list. I'm thinking if it was any hangar but 13, I probably would still be at Hancock because... People didn't want to move into Hangar 13, so you know, that was the first lucky thing about Hangar 13.
So the other thing I was real disappointed about was like these half walls. And I thought, you know what, that's bad for bird poo and blah, blah, blah. And the bird, I can actually hear the birds chirping and, uh, and I'm going to do some more um, uh, bird removal stuff out here. But um, I'm kind of a little disappointed about that. But, but then one day I'm noticing that, um, that um, uh, there's IP cameras at the end of the hangar for security purposes. And I thought, well, if there's IP cameras, that means there's Wi-Fi. So uh, I came here and took out my phone, and sure enough, I had Wi-Fi in the hangar. The, the office is only two doors down. So uh, sure enough, I had a Wi-Fi in the hangar. So I um, thought, well, you know what, if I got that, let's, uh, let's see. I've got pretty good signal here, but it's not as good as I'd like it to be. So I ended up, having, I ended up installing this Wi-Fi repeater. Uh, I get this repeater. I got this from my Bebop drone. I can attach this to my um, uh, controller. And then, and then bond the drone to it, and I can fly further than it's legal to fly. So uh, it's a pretty, pretty nice little uh, repeater, but I put it right here, and it repeats the signal down here. I get a super strong signal. I'm guessing everybody around me gets a super strong signal as well. Uh, and then I have this IP camera that I installed here uh, with some IR lights. And oh my god, it lights up the whole thing at night. I can see my baby anywhere there's internet access, whether I'm in... You know, Africa, Europe, Asia, or America, or, you know, here. So, uh, that was just pretty incredible. I can't say, I cannot say how happy I am. And then what I ended up doing was getting a bunch of these low-cost shelving, and then I just kind of took the top off of a couple of these and extended this up so that I'm above the wall. And now i got a clear Wi-Fi signal, and it repeats clearly, and I can download my uh, uh, databases, things like that. Um, so that's kind of sort of cool. Got a car driving by. So I feel awesome and lucky. I, I actually not only have Wi Fi, but I also have electricity. I have one plug and I kind of stretch it around uh, with all of these. But, uh, but I have electricity. Some people don't even have electricity. So if, if I was in a hangar that did not have electricity, I would have solar panels and a generator. <laughs> so that's just how that works. But out here, I have electricity, and so I actually extend the Wi-Fi and uh, uh, got my, uh, my workbench here from uh, Harbor Freight, my Lowe's cabinets. I absolutely love these cabinets. Yep. So this is a hangar, hangar 13 at the Oswego County Airport. So, you know, while I'm bragging about Lucky Hangar 13, I gotta tell you, that's actually only part of the story. And, uh, hi, Rucker, what do you think? Did you like your plane ride? <clears throat> In addition to Lucky Hangar 13, um, you know, the Oswego County Airport has two beautiful runways, uh, or both orthogonal. Today, the, runway, the wind is actually right down runway 33, so that happens from time to time, but quite often, it's completely crosswind to both runways. So, uh, lucky thing about that is, is you can actually shoot crosswind runway practice. You can practice crosswind landings to the left and to the right on days like that. So, come on, Rucker. You know, just a couple of hangers down. So here's here's Lucky 13 with my wingman Rutger. 14, 15, and there's like uh, the office. And of course, the office is where the Wi-Fi is. So, you know, I get a nice strong Wi-Fi signal. That's how come I got such good Wi-Fi in the hangar. So, um, down in the office, got a bathroom. So I'm just a short walk away from a bathroom. That's pretty cool. Uh, even that, they close up pretty promptly at four o'clock and it's four o'clock right now. So everyone's gonna be taken off. But, uh, but the uh, office has a key code on it and you can just uh, uh, get in anytime. There's a trick to it and it's Squawk VFR. Shh. So, uh, yeah, there's the secret key code. Uh, and, of course, it's well guarded. Lots of uh, cameras around. So, nice air-conditioned office on a hot, uh, on a hot uh, spring day. Hey, cutie pie, you. So right here in the office, uh, uh, of course, we got a restroom, water, coffee in the mornings, 
uh, some junk food there. So very nice, nice and comfy. And in case you just need to close close your eyes for a few minutes, a couple of recliners here. So cannot uh, cannot be the office. Just a short stroll down from the hangar. So uh, uh, pretty awesome. So and of course your weather station. So now the other cool thing is as we head on out. Come on, Rucker. Rucker. Come on. So the other cool thing about the Oswego County Airport is we got a brand new restaurant right across here. So you still go over here at Building C. That uh, there's the Oswego County Restaurant. I believe it's called Tailwinds or something like that. But it's yummy, good food. I've eaten there several times. It's a great place. To eat. So they're open every day from 7 a.m. till 2 p.m. and then Fridays from 7 to 7. So that's every day, Monday through Sunday. So if you're flying by and you're starving, drop on in and grab a sandwich, grab a grab a, grab some food. Oh, I'm not blinding everybody with that move, but but uh, then the last cool thing about the Oswego County Airport that I absolutely adore. <clears throat> that makes it just completely of course we have after hours fuel you can see between the two tail of those two skyhawks there is a fuel pump and all you need is a credit card all you need is money baby and you can get your fuel right there so um uh, at, at any time without any service without any uh, help or anything so you just taxi right up get yourself some gas here is our air uh, county restaurant and they'll be up tomorrow morning at 7. I'll probably be out here flying tomorrow morning. It's going to be another beautiful day. And then the weekend's going to be raining. So I'm coming out tomorrow. And I'll probably have breakfast there. And I'll, go, I'll video the, the, the thing for you. So the other cool thing. You can see uh, my man Luke over there. I actually have a mechanic on there. So... Uh, I've never actually had the shop on field. I've always had to do the gyration of, you know, flying here, flying there, and getting someone to come pick you up. So. What's going on, Luke? How are you? So, all in all, I'd have to say the Oswego County Airport is awesome. That's part of the thing that makes Lucky Hangar 13 so darn lucky. Talk to you guys soon. What's going on, my friend? I just gotta go and deliver a plane. So, guys, that's it. That's Lucky Hangar 13. You can see here I got a brand new asphalt out in front. Uh, airport is really just a wonderful place, and uh, and you know, on top of everything else, this is like the cheapest hangar I've had in 20 years. In fact, when I moved out to Hancock uh, 20 years ago, the hangar there was uh, $250 a month. It since rose up to like. 340 so coming out here the hangar is 225 I shouldn't say that because it's like the bargain of the century I got a flyer from an airport out in the sticks skinny Atlas Airport and they're renting hangars for um, I think 350 a month so you know out in the sticks I'm actually here in civilization and uh, lucky hangar 13 and I uh, low cost beautiful airport Four gorgeous runways with four instrument approaches, five instrument approaches actually, three precision approaches, two WAS approaches, and one ILS, and then um, two non precision uh, GPS approaches. So I gotta tell you, it's just a lucky thing that I was able to come out to Hangar 13. And I'm pretty certain if this had been any hangar but number 13, uh, I would still probably be at Hancock because I know there was a couple of guys ahead of me on the list and I know that they offered it to, uh, to, to other folks and everybody kind of turned it down. I even thought about it myself, like I said at the beginning of this video, that uh, I thought about uh, uh, 13. I don't know. But so far, nothing but luck. So, all right, guys. Happy flying. Talk to you next time.